Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Absolutely fantastic news today, guys. The whole market's doing incredibly well. Ethereum just hit an all-time high around eight hours ago of $2,146, and it's still hovering above that $2,100 range, which is fantastic to see. Polkadot, as of 16 minutes ago, just reached its new all-time high of $46.45, and it's still hovering around the $46 uh, mark. Kusama is still doing incredibly well if you compare this to one month ago. It had its all time high about five days ago of $566. Still hovering, getting up there to the $500 mark again. Expect big things from Kusama in the near future. Anyway, guys, let's get into the main topic of this video going through the features of the Akala decentralized exchange platform. Specifically, this time we're going to be using the Mandala testnet because the Akala mainnet is not live currently. We're gonna go through each of these modules on the side and talk through what it is each module does and some of the other features of this decentralized exchange. So this next step is not mandatory if you're using the Akala mainnet, but for this Mandala testnet, we need to do this uh, little step really quick. So we need to go ahead and click on the polka.js wallet extension that we previously installed and we want to copy our address. Once we've copied our address, we want to press the Discord button here to open Discord. Now, once you've clicked on that link, it should open Discord. So Discord should look something similar to this. Um, this is the um, application on my computer. Now, if you don't have this application installed, it should open it uh, with a web browser based version. So you want to navigate down uh, the channel links to the faucet, to the Akala testnet faucet, you want to type in the chat window, exclamation mark, drip, and then paste in your wallet address that we previously copied. And that should send you uh, some of the Akala tokens, some Akala USD, some DOT, some BTC. So you might have to wait up to one minute, guys, and then your balance should appear on the Akala decentralized exchange. Here you can see I have my Akala tokens, my AUSD, and my DOT. So now everything going forward in this video should be exactly the same on the main net as it is on the test net. Those previous steps were just so we can get some balance on the test net. So the first module we're going to review is the swap module. Now this should look very similar to anybody who's traded on uh, Uniswap or PancakeSwap. It's essentially just an automated market maker. We will quickly go over how to use the swap function. Um, this is, like I said, similar to Uniswap, but just in case people are not familiar with decentralized exchanges, we'll go through the basics really quick. So on this top uh, section here, we choose one of the tokens that we currently hold. So we'll choose DOT token. And in the bottom, we uh, select the token we would like to receive in exchange for our token. And in this case, we'll choose the ACA token. You input the amount of token you'd like to exchange, in this case, 0 0.2. And it tells you how many of the uh, ACA token we would receive. It tells you the minimum amount you should receive because this fluctuates in automated market makers. And it tells you the route uh, for the swap. It tells you the estimated fee and the network fee. So this Estimated fee is a lot lower than the Ethereum fee. Ethereum fees right now in April of 2021 can reach up to $100 per transaction, uh, averaging around $50, which is uh, prices a lot of people out of the market. The Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem uh, aims to fix one of those problems by keeping these network fees really low. Uh, sub $1 is the plan. So here we can press swap and it should ask me to authenticate this transaction. So you need to input your password. Now you can press remember my password for the next 15 minutes. Uh, be careful clicking this if you're going to leave your PC unattended. In this case, because we're going to be using a lot of the functions on this uh, decentralized exchange, I will uh, click this and we sign the transaction and we can see here that the transaction has been successful. So now we can see in our balance in the top right that we have increased our holdings of the ACA token. 
and the 0.2 dot token has been taken away from our account. The next module we will review is the borrow AUSD function. This allows you to take out a loan of AUSD stablecoin, which uses your other crypto assets as collateral. This is something that currently other DEXs such as Uniswap do not typically offer. So just in case you guys are unfamiliar with crypto backed loans, basically you deposit your crypto assets in a smart contract. The smart contract then mints a stable coin for you. You can spend that stable coin to buy other tokens or pay off something like a credit card bill, etc. At any point in time, you can buy back your crypto assets for the original price at the time you deposited them, plus a small interest fee. For example, if you deposited one Bitcoin at the time where Bitcoin was 50,000 USD and then Bitcoin surges to 60,000 USD, you still only have to pay back the $50,000 plus a small interest percentage. You do not need to pay back the $60,000 price tag that Bitcoin is at the time you want to buy it back. So this is a function that quite a lot of people in the crypto space might not be familiar with. Um, this already exists on the Ethereum network uh, with projects such as Maker allowing people to take out crypto backed loans. So we'll quickly go through how to do this. So you click here, create loan, and we'll choose our XBTC, which is a wrapped version of uh, Bitcoin as the collateral for our uh, loan. So we have, uh, I believe, 0 0.2, yeah, 0 0.2 Bitcoin. And let's say that I want to uh, take 0 0.05 of that Bitcoin to take out a loan. Now you can see here, it says that the max uh, price that I can borrow, the max amount of money I can borrow is $2,121. Now, if you type in, oh, if you type in that amount, you can see that uh, on the right hand side here, you have a liquidation price. So Bitcoin recently has been going down to the $50,000 level. Now what this means is if the price of Bitcoin went down to $50,000, you could not claim back your Bitcoin. So you need to be really careful here, guys, when you're taking out a crypto backed loan, you need to make sure that you do not uh, meet this liquidation point. Otherwise you risk losing your crypto assets. You can see the price is fluctuating all the time. Um, now the max I can generate is $2,118. But just so that we are safe and we uh, have less chance of losing our Bitcoin, let us say I only want to take out 1,000 USD. Now you can see that the price of Bitcoin would have to drop to $24,000 for me to lose my Bitcoin to the automated market maker. Um, and at, at any time now, I can redeposit this USD and claim back my Bitcoin. So we're going to go through uh, now the process of minting the USD and then depositing the USD back and claiming back our Bitcoin. Just a quick note guys, at the bottom here, you can see the interest rate percentage. This is likely subject to change. So make sure you keep an eye out on this percentage before you take out the loan. So we will go ahead and press next. And here you can see information about our loan. So we're depositing 0 0.05 uh, XBTC wrapped Bitcoin, and we will borrow $1,000 against this. You can see we have a very high uh, collateral ratio, which is good. This means we're less likely to be liquidated and the interest rate on this loan. And the fee is really good, only 50 cents. So we can confirm. And again, we need to put in our password. And we just wait a few moments and hopefully quite quickly, yes, now you can see we've received our $1,000 AUSD. So now when we uh, go back to the borrow AUSD module, you can see here it says our collateral ratio percentage. We can even create another loan if we have other assets that we want to deposit and get AUSD. You can see here it gives us an overview of our liquidation price and our liquidation ratio and how much we've borrowed and the collateral that we have deposited in the bottom right. So quickly we'll go back how to pay back this uh, loan that we've taken out for $1,000. 
So in the bottom left of the same module, you can see the payback function. Uh, this looks like we can pay back in small portions. So you can pay back 100 at a time, for example. So we want to deposit our uh, entire loan. We want to claim back our Bitcoin. So we can confirm, sign the transaction. And now you can see that we uh, have no collateralized Bitcoin here. So now that we've paid off our loan, we can go here and we can withdraw our BTC. We'll take it all back. We'll just quickly confirm and we'll sign the transaction. And that should give us, yeah, now we have received back our 0.05 BTC, which you can see here. Now we have a balance of 0.2, which is what we started with. I hope that gave you guys a good overview of how to borrow stable coins against your crypto assets. Be careful when using this feature, guys, as you uh, do risk losing your assets. But this is a really good way of freeing up some money for emergencies or to buy more tokens with and a bit more profit and then buy back your uh, other assets such as Bitcoin. But do be careful, guys. Don't lose your assets. So the next module that we're going to review is the liquidity providing LP token module. So you receive LP tokens when you deposit a pair of tokens into the automated market maker to facilitate transactions between that pair of tokens. Now be careful when providing liquidity on decentralized exchanges and make sure you are familiar with the concept of impermanent loss. So for this demonstration, we will provide liquidity to the dot AUSD pair. When you provide liquidity, you earn a liquidity provider fee for each transaction. The amount of fees you earn is proportional to the overall percentage of the liquidity pool in which you are providing liquidity to. In this demonstration, we will go over how to get the LP tokens and how to stake those tokens using this module for further rewards. So let's get our LP tokens. So when we press that button, it takes us to the swap module and we want to click on the liquidity header. Now, what we do here is we select our DOT token and our AUSD token. Now we only have 1.8 DOT, but we have quite a lot of AUSD. So for this example, I want to deposit all of my uh, DOT and it will tell me how much AUSD I need to deposit, which should be proportional to the amount of DOT. So now we will add liquidity to this pair, sign the transaction. And after a short period of time, it should confirm that our transaction has been successful. And as I was saying previously, guys, uh, have a read here. Rewards for liquidity providing. Liquidity providers earn a percentage fee. This will be uh, decided when the mainnet goes live on trades proportional to their contribution share of the liquidity pool. Fees are automatically claimed when you withdraw your liquidity. Additional rewards can be earned through the LP staking program. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to claim these additional rewards by staking our LP tokens. So now if we navigate to the earn module again, you can see this green button has changed. On all of the other ones, it says get LP tokens, but on the uh, .AUSD pair, it says manage. So let's click on manage. And you can see now that it tells us we have uh, 354.AUSD tokens, uh, LP tokens. So let's deposit the max amount. And again, we need to sign the uh, transaction. And after a few short moments, it should be uh, confirmed that the transaction has been successful. Yeah, now you can see it says submit transaction success. So now you can see that we are starting to earn ACA tokens. Um, this is a really good way of earning a bit more passive income on your crypto assets. Um, just make sure, like I said before, you guys are familiar with the concepts of impermanent loss when providing liquidity. Um, but this is a really nice way of earning those liquidity provider fees and then earning more tokens on top of that. So just quickly, uh, a word of warning. 
don't press the claim button every time you see this change um, because every time you press claim, you're going to have to sign a transaction which has a fee associated with it. So you can see now we have 4.994 ACA tokens and I want to claim uh, this small amount of uh, ACA tokens. If I sign this transaction, it actually will uh, remove tokens from my balance. See, now I have 4.98. Because the transaction fee was bigger than the amount that I earned, it's better to wait a few days or weeks to let this build up and then claim it after that period of time. You don't need to do this every hour or every day. Uh, this can be done once a week, for example. The next module that we will discuss is the liquid staking module. Now, uh, in order to use this module, I need to purchase more DOT tokens. So just really quickly, we're going to buy some more DOT tokens uh, with our AUSD. We'll spend 500 AUSD to receive some uh, DOT token. And we'll just swap really quick, confirm the transaction. And now we will uh, discuss the liquid staking module. So now we have our DOT tokens, we can use the liquid staking module. So let's deposit our max amount of DOT tokens. And this will give us uh, 15 liquid DOT tokens. Um, and it tells you here what the price is. One DOT equals 9.99, pretty much 10 L DOT. So we will stake the DOT tokens and sign the transaction. And this will be confirmed shortly. There we go. So now you can see the transaction has been successful and I've received 15.3AL DOT tokens. So now you can see that we have staked our DOT here on the stake balance. Uh, this net APR and profit pair day will uh, change on the main net and you will be able to see your profit. So you can see here guys, if you press on the advanced section of liquid staking, it says deposit dot and mint dot L dot token. Your dots will be staked to earn rewards. Meanwhile, you can use, trade and invest your L dot balance in your wallet. So we only have a couple more sections to go over. The first one we'll go over is the Oracle price section. You can see here, uh, the Oracle is just pulling data for the prices of individual tokens. And you can see more details here of the aggregated price and the Akala price governance module. So this will allow uh, holders of, I believe the ACA token to vote on proposals within the Decentralized Autonomous Organization or DAO. Um, this right now is not uh, used so much in the uh, testnet, I believe, but there could be some um, things to vote on on the main net. That might be stuff such as liquidity provider fees, which uh, make up part of the transaction fee for users. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on if you uh, hold a lot of the ACA token when it becomes available. But for the average person just trading, it won't be too useful, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on nonetheless. And <laughs> I thought that was it, but finally, um, on here, you can click on the picture that looks like a wallet. And this takes you to this module, which allows you to uh, transfer some tokens. Also, you can see a collectibles tab, which uh, looks like you will be able to display your NFTs in this module. And then there is a cross chain uh, capability module. So quickly, we'll just go over how to uh, mint Polkadot wrapped BTC from your Bitcoin that is on the Bitcoin blockchain. So if we click here, let's say that I have one Bitcoin and I want to obviously receive one Polkadot wrapped BTC. So from the BTC network, I would receive one Polka BTC. So here you can see that the destination, which is the wallet I would receive the Polkadot wrapped BTC. This is the same as my uh, wallet that I'm currently on the Rokoku testnet with, you can confirm it here. Um, so this is, I believe, a, a fee that would be uh, incurred by me. And it says here, I would receive 
point nine 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 eight BTC, pretty much one uh, Bitcoin on the Polkadot network. So when I press confirm, uh, this uh, might look slightly different on the main net because obviously right now I'm on the test net. Uh, I don't want to be sending any Bitcoin here. But what you would do, guys, is you would send your Bitcoin to this address. And what that would do is when this uh, address receives it, that smart contract will then give you wrapped BTC in your Polkadot uh, wallet address. So that's how you would uh, then be able to trade on the Polkadot network with your Bitcoin. And then at any point you would be able to then uh, redeem your Bitcoin from the Polkadot network in a similar fashion. So the last thing we're going to look at is the inter Polkadot transfer. Now what this lets you do is transfer funds or tokens from one chain on the Polkadot ecosystem to another chain. Quickly, if you don't know how the Polkadot system works, this is the relay chain in the middle. This connects all of the different parachains together. So each one of these uh, spikes here is a parachain. And what this function on the decentralized exchange lets you do is transfer from one of these parachains to another parachain. So for example, on the Akala network, maybe I have all my funds here. It would let me uh, transfer them uh, to the Fala network, for example. And then here I would put the uh, account address on the Fala network and the amount that I would want to transfer. And you can see here, I can transfer any of my tokens uh, to the other chain. And this is a really good feature. This is why Polkadot uh, is able to expand a lot more than, um, than the Ethereum network can because of this parachain system. So that's it for this one, guys. It's been a bit of a longer video, but hopefully this gives you guys a good overview of the Akala decentralized exchange and some of the unique features they offers on the Polkadot ecosystem. If you guys liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I plan on testing out a lot more of the various decentralized applications within the Polkadot ecosystem in the next few weeks in order to get some hands-on experience and share that experience with you guys in preparation for the Kusama and Polkadot launches. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks, guys.